Local 12's Chelsea Sick is in Buffalo, New York this morning, and we couldn't send her there without getting some wings. Yeah. Okay. We did our research and consulted some locals to find some of the best spots. And this morning, Chelsea got up bright and early and got the folks up with her to give Bengals fans a preview ahead of game day. We are at the Barville Tavern just outside of Buffalo, and it is a must-see if you are headed up here for the Bengals-Bills game. I'm here with Clark. You are the owner, and you all are known for your wings, but also this sandwich that I had not even heard of until I got here to Buffalo. Tell me about what it is. Well, the beef on uh, Weck is a mainstay of uh, Buffalo uh, food and Buffalo bar food. Uh, it's been around for over 100 years uh, and uh, what it features is uh, very slow-roasted, tender roast beef, uh, but a roll called Kemmelweck, uh, which is an old German roll uh, that has uh, caraway seeds and, and uh, heavy, heavily salted. Uh, we've uh, reduced it to just Weck, so beef on Weck served with uh, very hot horseradish. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, it, <laughs> it, is, it is a delight. It is really good. And then tell us what makes the wings here in Buffalo unique, other than the fact that they were, of course, made first here? Uh, that they were the, at, at, at the now famous uh, Anchor Bar. Um, uh, just a couple of key, key notes on our wing. Our wings are uh, hand-painted. We are the home of the painted wing. Uh, and essentially what we do is every single wing, the sauce is painted with a brush each side. Uh, and we do that painstakingly in order to mm -hmm. uh, make sure that each and every wing and each and every bite is the same. So whether it's your first wing or your thousandth wing, uh, uh, they all, each and every bite is great. All right. And I know that you all are going to be printing that Bengals logo on the Guinness beer for those Bengals fans that come in here this weekend. Well, we do, uh, uh, speaking for all Buffalonians, we have a very soft spot for the city of Cincinnati, uh, certainly uh, dating back to the Boyd and uh, Dalton connection that put us in the playoffs after a 17-year drought. Uh, we love you. It's one of the biggest plays in Buffalo Bills history. Uh, but uh, certainly a recent memory and uh, how kind you were to our team and our city and the whole Damar Hamlin thing that we suffered through together. Uh, uh, you know, there'll be a connection with our cities forever. Absolutely. Thank you so much. If you're coming to Buffalo for that Bengals-Bills game, you got to stop and get wings. Come here to the Barbell Tavern or the Anchor Bar. Both are really good, and you can get really those original Buffalo wings. Back to you on the studio. They're painted. They're painted. They paint. 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 They paint. paint the sauce off. Plus, yeah. earlier yeah. he showed us port. He poured a uh, Guinness, and then on top made the stamp of the Bengals yeah. logo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, 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 not only does that look so cool, but I am eager to know your opinion. I heard a little bit of yours. They say, "Don't ask for ranch." With mm -hmm. your, they almost find it offensive. Mm -hmm. Get the blue cheese. Right. How do you feel about that? Some people are straight ranch around these parts. I feel if you're going there, you should try it. You should do the blue right? cheese. Just I'm, like we want like people to cheese. try I, I'm, Cincinnati chili here. Yeah. So just try it. Yeah. If you don't like it, it's okay. You're, he did say they make 10 gallons 10 of the blue gallons. cheese a day. How can you make that go go wasteful? Well, yeah. Chelsea said she didn't like blue cheese going up there, but she tried it and she liked their blue cheese. Okay. Do the blue cheese. Mm -hmm. Do the blue try cheese. Try it. Yeah. Try it. <laughs>